Welcome back. This is a debate that a lot of people have been following, the Colorado Personhood Amendment. Now, some may have thought it was over when the Colorado Secretary of State announced the amendment would not be on the November ballot. Well, that amendment points out that life or personhood begins at conception. And today, supporters are filing a legal challenge to get the issue on the November ballot or on the 2014 ballot, despite the Secretary of State's decision. So the heart of this issue is the question over whether it bans all abortion. So we wanted to give both sides a chance to talk about this today and really give you at home what each thinks is the biggest point of their argument. So we have Gualberto Garcia Jones from Personhood USA and Crystal Klinkenbeard from No Personhood Colorado Campaign. Good afternoon, thanks for joining us. So Gualberto, I wanna talk a little bit about this filing that's going on today. Even though the Secretary of State ruled that you didn't have enough valid signatures to get onto the ballot, why do you find fault with that decision? Right. Well, we, we turned in 40% more signatures in less time this year than we did in 2010. And um, there are a lot of inconsistencies in the ruling of the Secretary of State. Um, and we think we have a really solid constitutional basis for um, having extra time to circulate and also for recovering uh, some of those signatures. We want to make sure every signature counts. Crystal, what do you think about this move, trying to get on that ballot or get that extra move? You know, I think that they are 4,000 signatures short. I think that um, the proponents collected 130,000 signatures in 2008. But most importantly, I think that Coloradans have shown time and time again that they're opposed to this measure. We weren't surprised that they collected too few signatures, and we look forward to having this debate whenever we need. So you say Coloradans have opposed it because this made it on the ballot in 2008 and 2010, failed both times. Walberto, you all have amended some of the language. Right. I, we've, you know, we're trying to communicate a message to people. This, uh, the personhood movement is a movement. It's not, you know, a campaign like we think of for electing a person. So really, for us, this is an ongoing movement. Whether we're on the ballot in 2012 or 2014, we're not going away. We believe this is a life and death matter, and we're just going to, keep trying to convince people. Some of that language clarifies, for instance, that an abortion uh, or termination of pregnancy in the case of a point where a mother's life is threatened is not included in that crystal. Your response to those amendments? The No Personhood campaign really knows that this amendment is dangerous. It's very clear that its intent is to ban all abortions in Colorado. The language changed this time to make it even more explicit that it would include um, victims of rape and incest. And so we oppose this amendment because it's dangerous and because it puts the government and politicians into a family's personal decisions. Um, and we absolutely agree. We see this as a movement. Um, we expect you to be back in 2014 one way or another, and, you know, we'll look forward to that fight then. Will you keep going, 2014, 2016? Absolutely, and actually, you know, we're, right now we're in Asia, we're in Latin America, um, we're in Europe, and so, you know, it all started here in Colorado, but it's a movement that people have really grasped onto it, and it's because it's a fundamental question, it's a disagreement we have, and that is, do we all have value from the moment of conception or not? I believe you believe that we only have value once we're born. We believe we have value from the very beginning. So will you be in that fight for 2014, 16 and beyond? Well, I would first say that, that in that way we do disagree because the No Personhood campaign absolutely believes that the value is that a family should make the decision, that it should be a woman and her family's personal decision about what to do with a pregnancy, particularly in a case like rape and incest. Um, and beyond that, because this issue is so important, the coalition that we represent will be here uh, to protect those women and families for as long as it takes. Crystal Gualberto, we thank you for coming in and having this open, honest conversation because it's something that we do need. We will be following this action today and we'll let you know what happens on the networks of Nine News. Thank you. We'll be right back.